What do you call prednisone? I know I called it the life-saving drug for me, but what are some other names for prednisone? In this video, I'm gonna share hilarious names for prednisone that come from as random collections as typos, transcription errors, and the technical names for prednisone. Finally, at the end, I will share the way I think prednisone really should be spelled, even if that's not actually how it's spelled. Hi, I'm Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist, and I personally had to take prednisone. And so I'm here to share with you some hilarious names lots of people have told me through the years of what they call prednisone. First of all, the names that they have shared in my Facebook group include Git, like the British insult, um, eating pill, fat pill, sugar coma, devil's drug, bone destroyer, moon face, not really helping pill, but they say that's all that will help. Chipmunk tablets, because they make my face look like a chipmunk alive. And that's the only good thing. 666, Satan's pills, the deal with the devil. At least I can breathe when I take it. And finally, pain relief. Next are the, the boring part. Stick with me for the hilarious things coming. The technical names for prednisone. What is prednisone? Prednisone is the generic name for the brand name Deltazone. Deltazone was the name the company gave it when prednisone was patented and approved by the FDA. But Deltazone is no longer available. The patent is gone. And so that company is actually out of business. So it's not really Deltazone anymore, even though that's the brand name that it was given. Other names include the class names. So prednisone is a steroid, a corticosteroid, a glucocorticoid, or squish them all together as a glucocorticosteroid. And those all are indicating how prednisone is working. It's interfering with our glucose metabolism and it's a steroid. It's causing anti-inflammatory activity and it is messing with our immune system as an immunosuppressant. So prednisone is often used for inflammation and immune system problems. Anything that's ending in the dash itis or is an autoimmune condition possibly could have prednisone prescribed for it. Check out my video all about what prednisone is used for because there are a lot of them. Other similar drugs to prednisone that are also in this class of drugs include hydrocortisone, which is brand name Cortef, or methylprednisolone, brand name Medrol, and finally dexamethasone's brand name is Decadron. I've taken three of the four of those in my life. Next, let's cover hilariously ironic transcription errors. From having these videos transcribed, I've noticed some hilarious ones that just are way too ironic. It's just hilarious. So first of all is pregnant zone. And it was so ironic to me that I had just finished losing the baby weight from my previous pregnancy when I was prescribed prednisone. And I was so proud that I no longer had the big fat belly. And then I took prednisone and suddenly I ha had a belly again and I was getting a big round moon face and I looked like I was pregnant. People even asked me, so when's the baby do? Like I, I had a guy who was taking his, he said, his grandkid said, you're, you're pregnant, aren't you, grandpa? And it's like, no, <laughs> just taking prednisone. It's so frustrating, that pregnant zone word for prednisone. Okay, next is prisoner's own. Prednisone is so much like being in a prison. It's like being in a jail that is keeping us locked, stuck in these side effects, unable to escape. It's so frustrating. And I've been there. I took prednisone for eight and a half, nine months, and it was awful. Next one is print is on. So we're just going to print something that's going to make you better. And it's going to just fit in this template that is perfect for everyone. And you can just follow this perfect taper knot. It's different for every single person and everybody has a different experience. There's not a, like, you can't just print out and be like, this is exactly what it will feel like. Nobody knows what it'll be like for you. This is what it was like for me, but every person's experience on prednisone is different. 
And even in your own life, your experience taking it can be different each time you take it. Next are hilarious typos from people searching information about prednisone. First is a lot of these make perfect sense because you might hear it from your pharmacist, your doctor, or a family member, and you want to know what are the side effects? And you're not looking at the pill bottle, right? You're not looking at the prednisone pill bottle. Instead, you're just hearing it. And so hearing prednisone, you don't hear the N, the N, the N sound. And so the first one that's super common is prednisone with no N. And so that makes sense. That was not really hilarious. But the next one brings back to the transcription error and it's Pregnazone, making you feel like you're pregnant. Prednisone does not have a G in it, but it make perfect sense if it did. Pregnazone. There's another chemical entity called pregnenolone that also sounds a lot like prednisone. And it's a precursor to hormones like progesterone and estrogen and THEA and testosterone. And so it makes sense that in our brains, maybe they'd say prednisone, pregnisone, pregnenolone. Those, those are all really similar sounding chemical names. Next is prognosone. And I find this one hilarious because it sounds like a prognosis. Like your doctor gave you a diagnosis and now your prognosis or the prediction of the course of your disease or your ailment is going to be better now that you have prednisone, unless it's causing side effects that makes it worse, right? <laughs> Or a prognostication, which is a definition is a prediction or foretelling or prophesying of a future event. My prognostication for you is if you take prednisone, you will feel like this, <laughs> have lots of side effects that don't feel good. And so only take prednisone if the benefit outweighs the risks. In my case, bleeding to death or side effects, definitely not bleeding to death. So I took the pill, so I didn't have to bleed to death. Okay. I love this one, prednisone, like pretty zone. And when I took prednisone, I definitely did not feel like I was in a pretty zone. It took me a long time, months to feel like I was myself again, that I could look like me. Like that when I saw my reflection in the mirror, oh, I see me again, there I am. It took months, if not years to really feel recovered because prednisone, is stealing our vitality, our beauty. It's taking from our hair, skin, nails, bones, muscles, all of these nutrients, and that's causing side effects. The stealing of calcium, magnesium, collagen, vitamin D, all of these things makes us look less vital and beautiful than we normally do. And so it's so hard to want to take prednisone. It's it's like a poison, right? That you're putting this poison pill in your mouth because you know, you, your doctor said you're supposed to, and it, you know, saving your life, making it so you can get out of bed. So you can actually open a pill bottle, whatever it is, it better be worth it. Right. If you're going to have to lose so much by taking it, whatever you're getting in return had better be worth it. Right. So I think the better name for it is the opposite of pretty zone. Anti-pretty zone? Yes, definitely. <laughs> it's a better name for prednisone. Prednisone. So I have a child who is obsessed with dinosaurs. And I read lots of like nonfiction books about dinosaurs to my child. So we're learning about the Mesozoic era. So this is a Mesozoan dinosaur or a Cenozoan or a Paleozoan. And now we have a prednisone. Welcome to the prednisone era when we invented a pill that mimics a hormone that naturally occurs in our body called cortisol. And in this era, we take it because other things are even worse. Welcome. So that's a possibility or protozone side effects. So protozoans are biological creatures that are one cell, parasites are examples, that that's all they are is just one celled organisms. And parasite is a great analogy for what prednisone is. It's stealing those vital nutrients from our bodies. It, it's like that parasite that's in your gut and stealing your food from you. When I had a parasite a few months ago, I lost five pounds in a week, just like boom. And I felt horrible. Prednisone doesn't cause 
usually a five pound weight loss in a week. Although I was talking to a guy and he said he lost 25 pounds of muscle in a month from prednisone because it does cause muscle loss. Just not usually fat. It's usually fat gain. And I've talked to people who've gained 25 pounds of fat in a month. It's amazing. Prednisone is amazing. (laughs) And so protozoan, yeah, that could definitely be like a parasite. Next is prezone steroid. So the prezone, there was the before you took prednisone and then the after you took prednisone, right? The prezone before you took it weren't those good days until you had that moment. In my case, I had this sudden rash and I was bleeding internally, hospitalized, had to take it. That prezone, those good old days before you had to take prednisone. And then the after, hopefully you can recover. So next is prednisona, which is the Spanish name for prednisone. And when I went to Mexico, which is where I got the parasite, they had pharmacies on every corner and you could just go in and buy drugs without prescriptions. It was great. You could just say, I want this and this. You can buy prednisone without a prescription. And so I walked in and I said, hey, can I take a picture with your prednisone? So there's this picture of me holding prednisona, which in their case is brand named Nosipren. And I had no idea it was Nosipren in Mexico, but in America, it's prednisone usually, and you can't even buy that Delta anymore. So finally, how I think prednisone should be spelled. I think it should be spelled prednisone with a Z, P-R-E-D-N-I-Z-O-N-E. That makes so much more sense than S-O-N-E. Like, is that zone or zone? Like, do you say it with a S or a Z, right? So if it's clearly spelled with a Z, then it's clearly zone. And there's a hilarious meme out there all about the twilight zone. Na, 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 na. Welcome to the twilight zone. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension, a dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas you've just crossed over into the twilight zone. I mean, the prednisone. That's what it really feels. Prednisone unlocks a key of miraculous things for us. For me, it saved my life. I would probably be dead without it. I probably would have bled to death. It's a miracle. It truly is. But it's another dimension. People have talked about how it changes their eyes. It changes their hearing ability, like tinnitus, the balance. It changes your mind. So many moon, uh, mood side effects from psychosis to anxiety and panic, panic attacks of both shadow and substance. So prednisone is stealing so many substances from our bodies and of things and ideas. You might get really awesome things and ideas when it's two o'clock in the morning and you're not sleeping because of the prednisone just keeping you awake and wired, right? And you crossed over into a different world, prednisone, where you feel like a totally different person. And I totally understand. And that is why I named my supplement for people on prednisone Neutronize zone, because it puts you back into the zone of health. It's zone, the supplement, because neutralizing the negative through nutrition. When we took prednisone and we were in that pre-zone, and then we took prednisone and it's stealing so many nutrients from our bodies. If we give neutronize, it fills in that gap and brings us back up to where we were so that we can reduce our suffering by replenishing our nutrients so that we can recover from taking prednisone. You can get it at Neutronize.com, N-U-T-R-A-N-I-Z-E, Neutronize.com. And it will support you so that you will feel like yourself again, instead of feeling like you're in the twilight zone. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.